It's Isaac Way, Doctor of Pharmacy, and today we're going to be talking about Paxlovid, Pfizer's brand new COVID-19 drug that has just been approved by Health Canada. Paxlovid is an oral medication that's indicated for treating mild to moderate COVID-19 when taken within five days of symptom onset. Paxlovid is indicated specifically for adults who test positive for COVID-19, are not hospitalized, and are at high risk of experiencing poor outcomes such as those who are elderly or have diabetes, cancer, or obesity. Paxlovid is an oral medication. It's comprised of two key antiviral ingredients. The first one is a drug called Nermatrelvir, which is a brand new molecule that inhibits the 3C-like protease, which is a key enzyme in the viral replication cycle of the coronavirus. The second molecule is called ritonavir, and this is an older drug. In this drug, it doesn't target the coronavirus specifically. What it does instead is it inhibits a group of liver enzymes that normally break down nermatrelvir. This in turn leads to greater amounts of nermatrelvir circulating in your bloodstream, which enhances the efficacy of the molecule. Now that we know how Paxlovid works, why was Paxlovid approved instead of some of the other oral antiviral candidates? So Paxlovid was approved by Health Canada because of some really impressive results that were observed in EPHIC-HR, which was a large double-blind randomized placebo-controlled trial. This is essentially a type of clinical trial that produces very high quality medical evidence. In this trial, Paxlovid reduced the risk of being hospitalized or dying by 88% among high-risk unvaccinated COVID patients when taken within five days of symptom onset. In this trial, Paxlovid also demonstrated an excellent safety profile with the only common side effects being taste abnormalities, headaches, high blood pressure, and muscle aches. Interestingly, more people discontinued the placebo than the treatment due to perceived side effects, which again speaks to the excellent tolerability of this medication. So now that we've talked about why Paxlovid was approved, how should Paxlovid be taken? Paxlovid should be taken again within five days of symptom onset. Each dose of Paxlovid contains two Nermatrelvir tablets and one Ritonavir tablet. All three tablets should be taken at the same time as a single dose twice per day for five days. Now Paxlovid can be taken with or without food, However, tablets should be swallowed whole and the five-day course should be completed in most cases. Now, it's important to note that there are certain situations where Paxlovid might not be appropriate, which is why it is very important to consult with your healthcare provider before taking this medication. So we talked about the upsides of Paxlovid. It seems very efficacious, very safe. What are some of the downsides of this drug? And the biggest downside that I've noticed has to do with drug-drug interactions. So as I mentioned briefly, ritonavir inhibits a group of liver enzymes to prevent the breakdown of nermatrelvir and enhance its efficacy. Now the problem here is that these liver enzymes are also responsible for metabolizing a whole bunch of other drugs. And when you inhibit these liver enzymes, these other drugs can build up to toxic levels. Now, some of these interacting drugs include, but are not limited to, drugs for treating cancer, heart disease, high blood pressure, erectile dysfunction, and prostate enlargement. And guess what? There are a whole bunch of other drugs that also interact through different mechanisms with Paxlovid, which is why, again, it's important to talk to your healthcare provider. So we've talked about the pros of Paxlovid. We've talked about some of the limitations. How does Paxlovid compare to vaccines? Now, in my professional opinion, vaccines are simply the better option at the moment. And I've got this opinion for a couple different reasons. The first reason is that vaccines have a better safety profile than Paxlovid. Vaccines have simply been demonstrated to be safe in billions of individuals all over the globe compared to Paxlovid, which has only been given to about 1,000 people so far. There are rare side effects that you might not see in a study of a thousand people. You might need to study millions of people until you start to see these more rare but more serious side effects start coming out of the woodwork. 
Also, vaccines hardly have any drug-drug interactions, whereas Paxlovid interacts with all types of medications. And lastly, vaccines are safe in most medical conditions, including pregnancy, liver disease, and kidney disease, whereas with Paxlovid, it's a little bit more uncertain. The second reason why I love vaccines more than Paxlovid is because vaccines have a better efficacy profile. Vaccines have been demonstrated to be effective in billions of individuals worldwide versus Paxlovid, which has only been given to 1,000 people so far. In addition, vaccines are effective in all variants of COVID when it comes to preventing hospitalizations and deaths versus Paxlovid, which has only been demonstrated to be efficacious with the Delta variant. And the last reason why I love vaccines is because vaccines simply have a better supply at the moment. In Canada, Paxlovid doses are probably going to be limited and difficult to obtain in the near future versus mRNA vaccines, which are plentiful. And speaking of mRNA vaccines, if you live in Toronto and you're interested in receiving your mRNA vaccine, feel free to visit Surrey Victoria Park Pharmacy. This is a pharmacy that I run with a couple colleagues. We're gonna be running a vaccine clinic this Saturday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. We're gonna be doing the Moderna vaccine and we're also gonna be doing the pediatric Pfizer vaccine, which is approved for children aged five to 11. If you're interested in participating in this vaccine clinic, just send me an email at isaacwade at gmail.com with your name and your phone number, and I will issue you an appointment time. You can also give us a call at 416-285-6608 to book your appointment as well. Surrey Victoria Park Pharmacy is located at 1703 Victoria Park Avenue, just north of Eglinton and Victoria Park. And just a reminder, we are the number one pharmacy in the city of Toronto. So that's all I have to talk about when it comes to Paxlovid. I wanna thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.